Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse migration from Oracle. Tips and tricks 6. This is the 6th tips and tricks video from Snowflake Cloud Data Warehousing migration from Oracle playlist. This is the query how we are going to migrate this Oracle query into Snowflake. So let me execute this query in Oracle and uh, what this query returns basically this query will return current week of Monday for any given when you, when you run this query anytime so always returns Monday only okay let me execute this query from Oracle see this is the current week Monday. So 10th May 21st. So May 10th is the Monday. So whenever you run, suppose if you run next week, then probably the 7th, 17th May 21, the output. So always returns, returns Monday. Okay. So Monday date. Now what I am going to do, let me show you how to rewrite our without rewrite is going to work the same query as it is in snowflake if it is not going to work then we will see how we are going to rewrite ok here what I am going to first step uh, let me run this query as it is without any change ok so in snowflake okay, SQL compilation error error line 1 at position 33 invalid identifier sysdata so, it is saying that this there is no function called sysdate. Instead of that, okay, let me run this sysdate alone. Then you see same error. So there is no sysdate. However, we have a sysdate, but you have to pass the empty parenthesis. Okay, so select sysdate and parenthesis. Then if you execute this one, then we will get the current date. Okay, this is the date we are. So first step first change you have to use the sysdate along with the sysdate you have to use the parenthesis this is the one another thing we are using the from sysdate we are converting to underscore care as a day extracting the day from that sysdate now we will see the how we are going to extract by using the day okay d a y full name so here see it is not giving x while day name instead of that whatever you are passing that parameter to to care it is giving this is not expected so to overcome this one what you have to do in snowflake we don't have any uh, such uh, input as a day instead of that we have to use the dy so now let me use the dy okay yeah so now we, we have a friday okay here please note that in snowflake this to care dy function when you convert sysdate to to care by using the dy so first three characters in the day name day name generally we have a full day name and first three characters in snowflake by default always returns first three characters only the first out of first three characters first one is the uppercase so in Oracle, it is not like that. It is uh, written full day with the all caps only. That is the one difference. So, you need to change it, this one also. So far, we have identified the three changes. Now, we are, we have also, we are in the date, okay, uh, one day, days, okay, from the sys date. So, how we are going to do that in Snowflake? Let me execute this one. So, sys date minus one. So, here, so SQL compilation error, error line 1 at position 17 invalid argument type for the function. We, in Snowflake, we can act directly add or subtract days to any sysdate function, okay, or normal function. So to avoid that one, what we have to do, we have a date add function in Snowflake. We have to use that date function. This date function will uh, uh, take uh, input uh, input parameters like you know day if you are going to add or subtract day then you have to specify the day without any single code if you are going to add hour or year or month like that you have to specify the 
that one after that if you are going to add then day then you have to specify the positive value if you are going to subtract then you put the negative value a two and what is the date here i'm using this is date now let me execute the date uh, date add function so yeah so this is the Oh, what is the? I mean, this after subtract uh, subtracting the day one, this is the date and uh, this is the actual date. So now we have to use the date add instead of directly subtracting day from sys date function. This change also we have to do. And also in Snowflake we have a one more function current date function. Uh, this current date function you can use the without um, I mean parenthesis also with parenthesis or without parenthesis. So let me execute this function. We can directly subtract day or add day. Okay, add days. But thing is that here we have a, some problem. Like you know, I, I will tell you that what is the problem. So if you execute the select current date. Okay, with now this time I am going to execute the braces. So current date and sys date, if execute, there would be some change in the, uh, you know, uh, date. Here we have a date is the 13, but here 14 is the sys date. Sys date always uh, uh, returns the current uh, system date, whereas the current date will return based on the your snowflake provision from the region. Okay, so which country you are provision your snowflake that's why so based on the, your requirement you decide that what you are going to use the current date or sys date in my case uh, in our here in this particular case we have to use the sys date so I, I will use the sys date only that is the another one now we have a another uh, function day name function so to instead of using the to care you can use the day name function in the snowflake to extract the day name from the date function so here if you see here this day name also uh, by default returns first three characters only first three characters from that first letter is the caps so this is the one thing either you can use the day name or to care by using the dy conversion function so we can write uh, rewrite we have to rewrite the query which we have executed from the oracle now case one by using the two care this is the query we have to uh, you know uh, let me uh, okay before executing this query what i am going to do uh, this is the query okay here i am not going to use the out uh, at the end okay i am not going to use the uh, two care function now see I have rewrite the query like you know instead of sys date sys date minus one uh, sorry uh, with parenthesis and two care conversion function instead of day dy and here week name full name instead of full name I used the first three characters and to subtract the day a day from the sys date I here date add function I are using because as I show you that showed you that we cannot directly add so this is the change now let me execute this query so we have got the expected output but however we don't want to timestamp okay time at a time only we need the date for that what i am going to do we can uh, you know use the two care conversion function to convert that into uh, yyy mmdd format this is the what we are expecting value so now we have got the our expected value by using the two underscore care and uh, with sys date function only and date add. Now what I am going to do another another way but without using the two care by using the a day name function built in function day name. So this two care function to convert that one uh, the output of okay. So now let me execute the day name. So here we no need to use the conversion function directly. You can use the day name function. Okay. So here the output would be 2021-05-10. So this is the how we are going to rewrite the queries when you are planning to migrate or when you are going to migrate the code uh, from Oracle to Snowflake. These are the things you need to consider. And one more thing, let me check this one. See here the output would be 10 May 21. So this one also, you, you know, you can change here, like, you know, uh, whatever you want to, to underscore care or something. Here also, you can do uh, here, comma, y, y, y. 
and then td so let me close this one and then run this one see now same output okay the uh, assume that this is the 2021 05 10 whereas the uh, same from snowflake also we have got the same output from oracle this is the uh, uh, you know you need to remember while rewriting the query thank you for watching my video